Howdy folks, just as I had promised this week, uh, back on Monday when we did the other upgrade, uh, I did some exploration on the internet and this is what I found. A couple of criterias. First, I wanted to try uh, feeding the filament off the side of the longer LK5 Pro. I've got a job in there right now. And this will help test, of course, that this, this works. I think it will. I don't see any reason why it will not. I just don't really care for this 45 degree angle thing going up into the uh, extruder here. So I looked around and the first thing I didn't want, I didn't want something that would require nuts and bolts and bearings and hardware and stuff. So I looked for something simple. Did run into another problem after all of this, but this is the one I came up with. It's a nice print off of uh, Thingiverse. I've got another problem right here with this cable, so we need to figure out a little bracket or something for cable management, probably for this right here. I need something that comes off here to help support this cable while it flops around. That's one of the things I don't like so far about the printer. It would be this one here. Uh, also, of course, like you know about the upgrade on that. The filament thing, I uh, really would like to see it up here and feed down. But to do that, we need a wheel out here someplace to help bring the filament in. And again, like I said, this cable has become a little bit of an obnoxious problem because it's just hanging. And if I put this too close, for example, like this, the cable could get into it. And again, you don't, you know, when you got those long prints that are a day or two days long, whatever, uh, this, you know, could become a problem. This print here is on Thingiverse. I'll uh, provide you a link if you want to take a look at it. It's just a plastic, uh, just a spool. Uh, in fact, I can take that off. There's the, there's the secret right there. It just, you know, goes through. And this piece here printed up in about 12 hours on the uh, longer LK Pro, which I thought was, you know, pretty amazing how quickly it prints. So this morning I did an experiment uh, between yesterday and today and I put the CR10 from Creality to use uh, versus the longer uh, LK Pro. The longer LK Pro stock standard out of the box same as the CR10 for some reason this one is showing print times that are about half. Yeah in other words like a 10 hour job on this is 20 hour on the CR10. I don't know what the answer is. Maybe I can get some comments below about what the what the difference is in those two, but that's what's happened uh, between uh, yesterday and today with uh, setting up the longer. Really love the machine still, still enjoying it. It still seems to be doing everything it's supposed to be doing, and I'm making another project that I hopefully will I will enjoy, and it might show you guys what we're doing. This one's another uh, cell phone uh, holder for a car situation where you have some place to actually put the slide the cell phone into a pocket and it holds the cell phone out of your way kind of thing while you're driving so the cell phone's plugged in the USB and it's out of your face kind of thing. So we're going to try this one and uh, make this one up and just see how it works. It uh, it should work. Yeah, you know. The other thing that uh, came up this week was uh, this is this show of course is coffee and tools because I drink a lot of coffee and I play with a godload of tools around here. And I also like to keep my coffee hot all day long. So a friend of mine, Hannah, sent something over to me and asked me to share it with you guys. So we're going to. I'm gonna show you my, my coffee craft. <laughs> Keeps things warm or hot. But we're gonna talk about it, so over here. So here we go. Hey, if you like coffee in your workshop like I do all day long, here's the problem. I make 10 cups in here first thing in the morning every morning like clockwork <laughs> and then I get the buzz you know and get to work but uh, the th thing is is the coffee gets you know cold in an hour this whole pot of coffee is pretty much you could just dump it and make a fresh pot or try to microwave it which is really sort of nasty on coffee for some reason so the answer is to make a 10 cups of coffee put it in this bad boy. This is a insulated, double-walled, stainless steel coffee craft. You put that in there and then all day long you hit this handle and you can pour, pour, pour yourself a nice you know, cup of coffee. This specific one, Hannah was telling me, you, know, you need to tell your people about it because it is 
very special in a lot of ways. It's not just another, you know, tool sitting around here. <laughs> it keeps coffee warm. Yes! <laughs> and the name of the company, which is, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to call it Tekken or Tikken or Tykin. Uh, take your choice. I don't know. So I'm going to talk about that. The vacuum craft is double layered. So it's a, a vacuum design which is excellent for heat preservation or keeping the heat in. It's a culinary grade 18 over 8 stainless steel material. Even the bottom lid is dur more durable and healthier for the environment and it's environmental friendly uh, plastics that were used to manufacture the item. Uh, these are two layer anti-leakage rubber rings on the bottom which has a strong anti-leakage effect. There's a non-slip collar on the bottom of the kettle and a non-slip kettle body to prevent the kettle from accidentally falling or causing burns. So yeah, it's just like it says here, the, I'll show you this, this is it right here. It has a really nice rubber. You could probably use this almost on a boat and it won't slide around at all. Well, okay, it won't move or, you know, knock over easily or go for a, go for a slider. But the simplicity of it is you can simply unscrew the top and there you have it. You can put your fresh pot of 10 cups, 12 cups of coffee in there. And this will actually seal closed like this. So when you screw this down, it'll stop right there. And then you can do this and nothing shouldn't, shouldn't really have anything coming out of there. But when you hit this button here, it opens the spout and that allows you to you know, pour your coffee. So it's like a big coffee thermos kind of thing. But it's a really neat item, and I thought I'd show you guys all the cool stuff here. Has the trigger action, one hand operation, it's spill proof, it increases the anti, uh, increased resistance and anti skid, double layered, I think we mentioned that. The bottom is, it has an increased resistance to non slip, one piece design, advanced welding technology, excellent, and it's it's rated, as I said, for uh, call. It's a culinary uh, grade of stainless steel. So this is not a cheap piece of junk. This is actually a really good coffee craft that keeps your coffee warm. Now it'll also keep things cold. So if you're into sweet tea in the South or something like that, you can fill this bad boy up with your cold drink, and it'll keep the cold drink all day long. Put some ice in there with it. And you've got a chilling, you know, drink that you can dispense as you need it. Yeah, we do co we do coffee at Coffee and Tools, so I thought oh, just answer that question because somebody had did did ask me, how do you keep your coffee warm all day long while you're working in the shop? Well, there's your answer, and uh, Hannah has supplied me a link for the uh, a discount price to buy this right now off of. Uh, Amazon, I believe it. Yeah, Amazon.com, and so you can get your great deal on this one if you have any, uh, if you have interest in it. Hey, you know, keeps coffee warm around the shop or in this case the garage all day long. That's a good item to have. What I'm watching for right now is the spooling to see if this does, starts to do the swing thing, which it's not. It seems to be just sort of gliding off of the spool. So I think this is a good workable model. And like I said, I'll give you a link for this. I'll also give you a link for the uh, coffee craft, and uh, the carafe is excellent quality, so yeah, y'all need that, you know that, yeah, we need that, mm. I need that, I need it because I like to keep my coffee, I generally make 10 or 12 cups, and that will last more than the entire day of course, but I like to have hot coffee on the go in the shop here and not have to drag myself in and out of the kitchen. If I go to the kitchen, I usually bring sawdust with me and I get yelled at. So this might save a few lives. Who knows? And uh, so right now, looks like this is a winner, at least for the time being. I'm showing you this to you guys because you might want to do the same thing with your longer LK5 Pro. It's, it's just a, I'll, we'll call it an upgrade. And again, like I said, nothing wrong back here. Just don't like the idea of the 45 degree turn with the spool. This is going straight in, right off there. And even when it gets up here, it's still gonna be coming straight in off the spooling. So I'm pretty happy with that. Looks like a winner. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Uh, and 
please like, share, and subscribe. We'll uh, be back on Monday with other things and got rewards coming up, of course, where we'll be mailing some more freebie stuff out. Uh, next week's kind of an exciting week. We'll be getting more into tools, of course. But uh, we'll probably never leave 3D printers alone because God knows I have made so much stuff for my wood uh, experience out here uh, that there's all kinds of, there's just no end to what a 3D printer can, seems to be able to do. The wood bench I have that I just showed you a few weeks ago, uh, the Windsor wood bench, the pegs are, were, some of the pegs were missing from it for setting up for like clamping and stuff. And I was just thinking today, pegs, I can make my own pegs out of this. In fact, I can make custom pegs using a 3D printer. That might be a cool project coming up for woodworkers and whatever. So again, thanks for watching guys and girls. And I'm out of here, over and out.